Elk Summit, 8670 elevation. That there be snow. They said uh, two weeks ago this was impassable because of snow. I'm assuming it was right there. It's like going through a Christmas tree forest. I just had this uh, I'm like reflection of just thinking that this bike left Las Vegas and now I'm in this such different terrain. It's just unbelievable. Where a motorcycle will take you. Wow, look at that tree. That's awesome. Glad the fire didn't get to that one. I mean, I'm going south to north. This is you know, it's gotten a little more technical, but not bad, not bad at all. I mean, I think you'd have to be a, a really novice rider to get in trouble. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've come into corners a little hot a couple times. Actually, in the beginning of the trip, I really thought I was going to go out the road one time. That uh, really buckled me down a little bit. But, um... Know, as long as you're not hot shot and you're uh, taking your time somewhat you know and knowing your limits this is easily doable on a big bike with that being said I'm glad I'm on this bike I'm sure I mean I've never ridden a GS but this thing is just so light and nimble it's so easy to maneuver it is a narrow road though you gotta you know Speaking of that, right? Just as I said it, I was just about to say these roads are narrow, so you really need to, you know, try to stay in your lane in case someone's coming up the other way. And what happens? Man, that was a prime example right there. So if you're doing this, even though you don't see anything for miles and miles and miles, you know. Always expect something to be coming around that corner. You know what I mean? Save you, give yourself some safety room to be able to get over. And, you know, because you can't trust that that person's going to be all the way over themselves. You know. So that whoa, that was a big hole.
at some downed trees. Wow. Well, it was just windy. Welcome to Idaho. Where a road may not be a road. Let's go investigate. Oh, those fine gentlemen cut it all up and moved it. Might be more though, we'll see. Another reminder why you want to bring an ax and a saw. It's probably like this a ways, huh? So this is the famous Idaho backcountry discovery route bus. It's out here in the middle of nowhere. It's a great landmark. It's one I definitely wanted to find and film. I was hoping it was for sale. I, I, I don't have a contact number on there or anything. Let me show you what shape she's in. Maybe I can get somebody to go in partners with me. What do you think? Gonna need a front tire for sure. The uh, front fender though has good air vents to cool the motor off better. And the uh, steps, are, steps work good. Um, it has air conditioning because it doesn't have any windows, so the air conditioning's great. What's unbelievable is the motor is still in this thing. Someone took the valve covers off. It still has spark plugs in it. Oh, look, there's a shoe under there, too. Must have been the mechanic that was getting it ready for me before I showed up. Let's take a look at the interior. We got some nice wood paneling here. Driver's seat, you know, it's, 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 um, it's here. The driver's seat's here. Uh, the mileage is unknown. Doesn't have a horn, but you can yell out the window because it doesn't have one. Looks like someone built an uh, entertainment center here. It might fit a nice, uh, probably fit a nice 48 inch TV, huh? Watch the ball games. You got a nice uh, slab here for a nice queen size bed. Some shelving over there for your pants, shirts. Comes with a plant. Actually, looks like there was a wood stove in here at one point. Let's see if there's any license plates or anything. I doubt it, but you never know. Nah, no plates. Let's see what this says. Recreational vehicle, 1978. 1988. Huh. So it looks like it was registered as a recreational vehicle in 88. Probably came out here, got stuck or broke down. Pretty cool, pretty cool.
So this is the famous Idaho Backcountry Bridge. Bridge. <laughs>